Hi guys, Mad Maple 77 here. Um, just doing one more quick video. Um, I'm going to do a video on a few tools, and I will have some raking at the end with this lovely rake that one of our members sent us. And um, it's a little bit dull because I have just modified it slightly. Um, I'll do that a bit later on in the video. That'll be at the end, but it'll actually be tomorrow for me because I'm expecting another one in the post, so I'm going to do it on both. <coughs> um, this is just going to be a really quick catch up on tools, mainly because someone asked me about this, which is a multi-tool Dremel type tool I've got in the post. Um, it was a really cheap one on eBay, let me just turn this Moto GP down. It was a really cheap one on eBay and he just wanted to know about it, um, so I thought I'd do a quick piece about this and maybe a few of the tools that I forgot in the other film. Um, I'll get straight on with this first, this is great for grinding, things like that. It's a little, um, as you can see, uh, 10,000 RPM rechargeable and that's a, a point to make it is rechargeable not plug-in but I like that for a reason and as you can see spins away there lovely I mean if you push down too hard on when you're cutting like a moron you probably can slow it down but to be honest you have to be a complete moron to do that great little tool um, in this particular kit which was off eBay and it was £14.95 this is a cordless one um, you need to obviously choose to start with whether you want a cord or a cordless one. Um, I chose, um, hold on, the camera's slipping here. I chose cordless simply because I fish a lot and things like that, and it's handy to have one that is cordless. But if you choose a corded one, if you're going to be at home, um, you can get them a similar price. This particular one came with, as you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different grinding heads um, and they're just normal grinding stones One one's quite coarse and one is less coarse um, give me these here you get about 20 or 30 of these and these are brilliant these are probably what you'll use mostly they're what they call diamond burbits and they're basically like your file um, so anything uh, you know you'd use uh, the cutting discs and these grinders to get near and then when you want to get that last bit just before you polish you'd use these as file and as I say this complete row here um, here and some more in a separate case um, you get with this tool you get a couple of what I call chimney sweeps but you get some metal grinding brushes some softer brushes as well um, then you get this plastic container which has two lots of things in, some I've got in this container. You get your drums with your sand and blocks, you get a little sanding stone. What's great in this set is you actually get two, three, four drill bits um, and they're all the perfect size for what we use for lock sporting. Um, there's various ends in there to mount the pieces on. Um, one of the drill bits, as you can see, I've got it on here, is absolutely, I don't know if you can see that if I zoom in absolutely tiny um, but that's brilliant you know that's included um, and then you get you know there's other collets in there cutting discs polishing discs and this is all included in the set for 14.95 one of the main reasons I got this is for using for cutting um, for cutting picks etc but also to modify pins and someone online wanted to know if you could get pins in them well I've actually got a piece of pin stock here and you get four of these little brass collets of different sizes which go in the end of the tool there um, allowing you to mount things from quite large drill bits right down to actually smaller than this this pin stock because there is a smaller one but you can see that fits in there perfectly which is the size of a normal pin in a lock um, once screwed down in that collet there um, you'll be able to use that almost like a mini lathe um, you know and you can get files or, or tools like this braddle here and just push against the metal and you can grind yourselves um, serrated pins and things like that you can do all of that with this tool <coughs> um, that'll do it all the only downside for this as I say if you're using that at home and you're going to be predominantly at home you may want to spend an extra five and there's other ones out there for about 20 pounds that are corded um, I got this one it's a rechargeable one I often go sit on the riverbank for a while um, do a bit of pike fishing so I got this one because I like to be able to just sit there and use it whilst I'm out there. Um, a couple of the other things I forgot on uh, the tool section, it is always going to be handy if you're going to be getting into lock sport. Get yourself one of these. Um, this is a little vice that just clamps onto the table. Um, to be honest, I would get one that is a suction vice and suctions itself onto the table. 
Um, but they're a great idea just to hold yourself um, still. You then know whether it's you getting the tension right, um, not you know you're not bouncing about on the sofa if that makes sense. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just really wanted to show this off. Um, as I say, it's great. You can make all your own tools. I bought these, for example. These are cheap stainless steel knives. They were three for a pound, believe it or not. And as you can see here, I've already drawn a circlip removal tool on there, and I'm going to cut that out. And that would have cost me 33 pence. Now, the cheapest one of them circlip removal tools I could find online was 7.95. These knives, that one, that one, and a bigger one there, um, they're stainless, they're 0.50 so you can make prior bars out of them, they've even got a tapered edge at 25 degrees for the cutting edge, um, so you can make a double ended prior bar out of them. Um, but as I say, this little knife, which is only one of the three that I got for 99 pence, I'm going to cut with the cutting disc on, on the multi-tool here. I shall cut around there and you can see the shape I've made to make a cutting tool and I'll have the handle then for a perfect circlip removal tool. Uh, as I say, for the, for the princely sum of 33 pence. Oh, one more thing I will point out, I picked these up. This is a set of cheap feeler gauges. Now this is three pound, now these are brilliant. You've got all sizes in there from absolute thin whappers, which would probably work well at the right size for a cylinder shim. Um, and this particular set is a 17 bladed set. that goes right up to 0.32, which would be great for pry bars. Sorry, I'll hold it into the camera. You can get bigger sets that go to 0.50 for, for thicker pry bars, but you've got everything in the middle here. 0.26, 0.25, 0.24, 0.23, and they're all perfect pick sizes. And if you look at the size here, they're actually the perfect size. You can get two pick blades with a small handle out of each blank, and then you just mount the last inch of a blank into a plastic handle or a wooden handle and uh, use a, a araldite or something similar to glue it in and you can actually get two decent pick ends, pick heads out of each feeler gauge and you can make them every size for every lock and as I say you've got everything here from deco decoder knives at 10,000 right down to shim size and as I say three quid um, for a set of feeler gauges um, but that's it really, I just wanted to show those tools and as I say there will be a last minute or two on the end of this video which I'll do tomorrow to show off uh, this lovely rake and another that one of our users RevTat2 done. So until then, thanks a lot, I shall be raking now. Hi guys, Mad Mabel 77 here, just doing the end of this video, I shall try and be quick. Um, it's for you it's the end of the video, for me it's actually two days later, Sunday morning, and I wanted to wait because I knew, as I said, I had some rakes from RevTat2, I knew I had another one coming, here they are, uh, no that's not it, here they are, um, as I say, these are his, uh, he's a newbie like me, these were his first attempts, so they are being sort of tweaked as we go along, if you want to see how shiny and shiny they are, please go to UK Locksport and have a look at the posts, they are amazing, they glide in and out of the keyway like a greased whipper, um, this one originally had a slightly too sharp an angle, so we sort of evened that off a little so it glides in and out of the keyway and, and slides that first pin up much easier. This one in particular is deadly. I'm not a great raker, I'm not a great picker at the moment, I'm just learning. Um, but this one I'm scared to even put in my pocket. I honestly think if I walk down the road, locks are just going to give up in submission as I walk past. Um, with regards to this one, which is the City Rake, it is exactly the same profile as this rake, which is a Southord rake, and that is not by accident. Um, why change something that isn't broken? But they are amazed and ladies and gentlemen, they are Rev Tat 2's first picks. He's only been making them a week or so. He sent a few out for us guys to test. Um, uh, and to be honest, you know, there's little tweaks to be made here and there as to be expected with new things. But the finish is generally amazing. And once he gets it down, can't say enough. Right, number two over the day as well, I had a delivery. I have plaster dipped my handles, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of people were waiting for this. These were actually Mad Bob style picks. Um, once you've dipped them, you end up with a little bit nobbles and stuff like that on the end that you just cut off with a pair of scissors. Um, I used the the tin, not the spray. This is quite expensive. I could only find one supplier who supplies the original plastic dip. It's £15 for a 250ml tin. I double dipped 
20 picks and I used about half of it so you double dip 40 picks or so um, that really does make these picks if you've got uncomfortable metal picks and they hurt your hands some people they do some they don't it did with me these really do make it so much more tactile and, and they feel so much better that's unbelievable um, so a brilliant product I can't recommend that enough it works well I haven't used the spray as I say and with regards to the Dremel tool I've used it now great I made myself a pair of uh, kingpin style tweezers out of some fishing um, forceps I had I've ground the ends out here and here to make space for <coughs> um, pins to go in anyhow getting down to these picks I'm not a great picker I haven't picked in days because of my eyes but I'm gonna give it a go on cam here if I can on about the fourth attempt on video because my camera died um, I'm gonna see if I can just quickly just show you that these aren't just um, for show these are Rev Tattoos picks this is um, the City Rake and I'm gonna have a go on a weird angle here just getting in there and as I say I haven't picked nothing for days this has been working really well off camera, but like everything on camera, that's not gonna, not gonna have it. Let me get to the right angle. And there we go. See, I mean, I made that look worse than it is. As I say, I haven't picked nothing for ages. Um, I really did make a meal of that. Um, this one here is a pit beard challenge lock PB4. There's the bitten for it. Um, quite a good bitten. I mean, this thing, it'd be hard to rake this anyhow. Someone of my skill should not be able to rake this with anything, um, let alone a homemade rake. Um, this may go completely wrong, but um, I can assure you off camera, this has opened every single time I've done it. And I assure you on camera, it's now not going to happen. Um, but this is Rev Tattoo's Bogota style. Uh, and as I say, I'm on a weird angle, so I'm going to try, but get my hand around it properly. I've just moisturised my tattoos, so my hands are all slippery. Let me get myself. I'll try and keep you guys. We'll get there, chaps. As I say, I'm not the, not the best raker. This has gone really quickly every time in practice. I'll sit here now for another 10 minutes, I expect, and swear. And there we go, see? Um, I really did make a meal of that. Um, that has done that off camera every time in 30 seconds. So, in, in uh, recap, gents, Plasti Dip, great product. Um, if you suffer from sore fingers, I can recommend that. Rev Tattoos picks, beautiful picks. Um, as he's going along and adjusting the styles, um, they are becoming amazing. I think we're going to find the handles are going to become thicker and the angles are going to become much better. Again, can't recommend enough. Um, Dremel tool, doesn't matter which one you get, um, any of the ones, whether you get corded or cordless, great little tools to have, very cheap way of making your own picks and making adjustments to stuff, so can't recommend it enough. Please come and join us at uklocksport.co.uk. Thanks for watching my video um, and I shall hopefully make some more and start my single pin picking adventure later this week. Thanks a lot, Mad Mabel 77